everybody! Uh, welcome to Why Would You Show Me This? I am Will. And I'm Danny. And this is episode 20. The big 2 0. <laughs> we made it. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, for this episode, I didn't pick this because it's episode 20 or anything, uh, but I chose Sound of Noise, um, a very great Swedish film. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I thought, I actually didn't know if Danny would like this or not. Um, it, it is a different type of film. It's very unique. Mm -hmm. Um, it's almost a musical, uh, in a way. Um, but I will get into the synopsis and then we'll get into the movie. Uh, police officer Amadeus Warnebring was born into a musical family with a long history of famous musicians. Ironically, he hates music. His life is thrown into chaos when a band of renegade musicians decide to perform a musical apocalypse using the city as their orchestra. Reluctantly, Warnerbring embarks on his first musical investigation. It's very short and sweet. Doesn't really give too much away. Uh, but uh, what did you think? I thought it was good. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it's 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 very it's. To, I think it's a super unique movie. I don't. I haven't seen a movie uh, like this. Stomp. Is Stomp a movie? Yes. Oh. Stomp was a movie, and oh. it's also a play. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's very similar. Um, as it said in the synopsis, they use the city as their orchestra and that is exactly what they do. Mm -hmm. Um, they do, I will admit, do it in much different ways than Stomp does. Yes. Yes. In a much more, uh, uh, inventive way, I think. Mm -hmm. Um, not to take anything away from Stomp. I've, truth, ne I've never seen it, but. Truthfully, the music in this is better than Stomp. Yes. Um, yeah. I, I believe the directors, uh, it's two directors together, they are musicians. Mm hmm um, and actually, all of the characters in the movie, all of the musicians in the movie, they are drummers, mm -hmm. specifically. Um, and the uh, the orchestra, if you will, or the... the band? the ba Not the band. The What they're putting on mm -hmm. is called Music for Six Drummers and One City. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah. I mean, uh, it's one of my favorites. It came out in 2010 or 2011, something around there. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, when I first saw it, it was it kind of blew me away, uh, just because it's so different, and it's really not what you expect. It is very different. Um, you went into it pretty blind. I did. Yeah, and you think that that's kind of a good way to do it. It's the best way to do it, in my opinion, is to know as little about it as possible, mm -hmm. and to just experience it, um, especially because of the music that's yeah. in it. Because um, I didn't know what to expect, how the music would occur, or when. Mm -hmm. Or any of that yeah. so to experience that um blind you know what i mean not to expect it yeah. at any point and then to just experience it was nice yeah I like that yeah um <clears throat> the problem is is that i it's really the only problem i have with the film is that they're described mostly in the film as terrorists yes um and that I don't really agree with because they don't harm people, but at the same time they do inflict terror, so that is a thing. They do. You 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 could say they maybe harm a person. When? The first song that they do. No, I don't think they harm him. He flatlines. He does, but they bring, <laughs> they bring him back. Yes, know? yes. But yeah, I do agree with that. Um, but that was an accident that wasn't even intentional. They're yes. not intentional. Their intention is not to harm no. anyone. The, the, their intention is a very um, uh, uh, anarchic. 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 <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, it's very, they're very much anar anarchists Anarchist, in, in, yeah. in, a, in a musical sense. Mm -hmm. um, the main character, um, Amadeus, his brother is a very well-known um, orchestra leader. Uh, and, um, one of the songs they do is intentionally made to mess up his performance. Correct. Yeah. And, um, he also, one of the, one of the drummers that are in the terrorist group, mm -hmm. he was a drummer in the performance until he was, uh, kicked out Yes. because he didn't want to conform to what they were doing. Well, he was doing his job correctly. He the, was doing the, the job guy correctly. The was just singling him out. Yeah. And he just decided to fight back by playing boisterously and yes. then he got thrown out yes amadeus his brother is kind of a dickhead kind of um, <laughs> no i mean he is a dickhead yeah no he's, he is he's he even treats the, his brother kind of shitty shittily he's probably the biggest dickhead in this film yes yes um yeah the it's the funny thing and I, you said you, you don't particularly agree with me 
But I think that this movie is a is very similar to Cecil B. Demented. Um, because in Cecil B. Demented, they are trying to make an independent film at all costs. They're trying to make their film against against the mainstream type films. And this is people trying to make their music against mainstream music. Um, so I think they, they are kind of similar. They're just taking on a different art form. I would also say that given the proper platform, these artists would be able to perform in front of an audience in normal circumstances, but yes. they don't allow themselves that. Yes, they they think that they are above every every all the other music going on right now. Correct. They think that they are that everything else is below them and that their music is a masterpiece. Yes. And um what they are doing is is progressive. Correct. And what everybody else is doing is just kind of staying in the past. Mhm. Mm yeah. yeah, I agree. Mhm. Mm um but I would also say that there's very little message. I think there is message. Um, I, I remember you saying that there is no little... I think the message is that um, there is room for both unique music. There is room for both. There is room that, you know, um, Amadeus' brother, he is just... It's just classical music. That's what it is. It, 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 it's, I don't even know if it's supposed to be a piece that he wrote. Or if it's just classical music that has already been written. Um, but I think it's definitely mm -hmm. to be like, look, there can be this, but you also need to accept these newer uh, musicians, these newer forms of music, these, these newer genres mm -hmm. um, that are, are not what you think are music is mm -hmm. music, but it is music. So I think the um, that is a part of this movie because I do think that the people that made this movie probably think that you know that's that's probably what they're trying to get out there is that you know there you need to other music other, you need to be more accepting of of new things and trying new things in in art forms. Um, one of the other issues I have is the main male character Amadeus. Yeah, what's wrong with him? Basically everything. <laughs> He's not likable in any sense i feel for him i don't so he lived his whole life in uh a family where everyone mm -hmm. is a musician yeah and he doesn't care about music it's not it's not that he's tone deaf he's tone deaf but he also just doesn't care about music even if he did it wouldn't matter sure but his <laughs> fat he is treated less than because of that right so um, I don't know, should we talk about his motivation in the movie? You can. His motivation in the movie, uh, once they play their first song out in the wild, he goes to investigate and he finds out that he cannot hear anything that they used as an instrument. It's just, he's just silence to him. Um, so throughout the rest of the movie, he's kind of on a mission to make things as silent as possible so he doesn't have to hear music. Right. Yeah. Which it culminates in a in a, a very cool climactic ending, I think. The ending is is well, the the last bit before the ending is fine. But the ending itself I don't like. Oh. Oh, I know what you're talking about. I know mm -hmm. what you're talking about. Yeah. I mean that's understandable. It's fine. Um but I, I I feel for his character. I don't think I d I don't think that he's boring. I don't think that he's, he's so much of an asshole that I can't feel for him. Why is he an asshole, do you think? Why, why? He's an asshole the entire time. He screams at the musicians that they've detained, despite the fact that they yes. have no authority to do so. Just, yes. I mean, it's very big brother. and it's A little bit. They do start, like, rounding up the musicians. It's, and it's horrible. And then he just screams it. He, and he destroys their instruments in front of he them. Does. He and does. And I mean, I... Sorry, I don't forgive that kind of shit just because he wants a world of silence because he's a fucking failure. Mm -hmm. Did you say he's a failure? Yes. I mean... I, I mean, I'm sorry. Who was it? Mozart, Beethoven, who was deaf? Mm -hmm. Beethoven. And composed music? What's mm -hmm. his excuse? He's tone deaf. Yes. He can work past that yes. if he really wanted to, yes. but instead he wants to be angry at the world. <laughs> and that's just, you know, I'm I'm so tired of that. Yeah, I don't. I don't pity men who just want to piss and moan about things that that are unfair to them, despite the fact that it, you know it's a chance of fate that this happened to you. So stop being like that and grow the fuck up. 
Why do you think then that one of the musicians, one of the renegade musicians, ends up having some sort of like tryst with him? What do you? Oh, I don't know. I didn't agree with that at all. No. No, I thought it was the dumbest thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I get like this whole like forbidden love bullshit, but that doesn't fly with me in this movie. I think that was a forced thing that they in the movie because otherwise in this movie there's no romance to speak of at all no there's not um, and I feel there's like, really no love between anyone else no and i feel it's very forced i mean shit they could have had her have some sort of romance with magnus the main the the other musician. guy that she yeah. leaves you know the school with. yes so yeah that could have that would have been more believable to me than what ended up happening you know mm-hmm. what i mean so no, I don't agree with that at all. I thought that was stupid. Yeah. So the main thing that you like about this movie, I would you would say, is the, like, the, the musical, the music, the musical features. Yes. Um, is shot really well. It is. The, the whole movie yeah. is shot very well. Mm-hmm. I can't. I can't argue that. Everybody who acts in it does an excellent job. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's not a lot to argue with except for just this some of this illogical bullshit that I don't agree with. You yeah. Know what I mean. Yeah. Um. Some somebody who's trying to rally against my movement isn't somebody who I would necessarily get romantically involved with. But yeah, <clears throat> but again, I understand in terms of the plot and the movie and all that stuff. It makes for good viewing. But I don't know. I'm tired of that kind of shit. Tired of like but, classic but also, tropes. But also, I like her because she's a badass. She is because she's like she went to school and they were like you're fucking weird. She's like fuck you. I'm gonna do my yeah. thing and I love that. Yeah. And then to have her just be like romantically interested in someone I feel is weak yeah. as he is. Cause that's the thing. He's a man who, pro- who projects all of his insecurities upon everybody else. And that is so gross. And I don't appreciate it. And she's the complete opposite. She is. Yeah. And I feel in those opposites, it doesn't work. He needs to go do his thing and find himself. And she needs to just go be a badass and make fucking music. Mm-hmm. <laughs> This movie is definitely, a, a, like I was saying with the Cecil B. Demented thing, it's a movie for the outsiders. Yes, very It's much. a movie for the people who aren't accepted yeah, by the, 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 the main circle, the yeah. main inner circle. Um, which is interesting because um, I wouldn't say it has the best ending it for doesn't. them. Um, I mean, it's not horrible. It's not what but you it, want. No, yeah, it's not what you and want. And I understand it's not what you want, and I understand movies that like do that kind of thing where they don't give you what you want and that's cool but this i just really was like this could have ended a lot better it's very realistic yeah um which is weird because the rest of the movie is not realistic i would say i don't think it's a very realistic movie um it's a very uh fantasy type Mm. of thing you know Mm. um especially with with them going out into the world and uh, basically using the world as an instrument mm-hmm. more than uh, they don't they don't particularly they do play instruments in the movie, but it's not during this um, this opera or whatever that has been written for them to, to perform. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's well, the best part of the movie. I mean, well, the, the I have to say the when you get introduced to those two characters, yeah. her and oh, it's a great introduction. It's one I of the, love it. It's it's. I mean, as much as I love all the musical numbers in this, that one is probably my favorite. And it's funny because it's just drums. That's it. And the car. And the car, <laughs> yes. The, car. Uh, the the cool thing about this movie is is the the non instruments that are made into instruments. Yeah, the, they're really neat. The, the things you wouldn't think of. Mm-hmm. Um, and it, it, it I really uh, I haven't really we didn't really watch any special features or anything, but to I would like to listen to the writing process. And what went on with these songs mm-hmm. and how they even really thought about it. Right. Um, Cause that, that's super interesting to think about with, with all of the stuff that mm-hmm. is used in all of the songs. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, I don't know. I still think it's great. Uh, the, the, there, so do you, did you like the, um, the characters? They're all very different. Yeah. All the uh, the musicians, except except for the detective, I don't like. But well, yeah, everybody else, yeah. Um, the guy who plays his brother, who's an asshole, yes, um, does a very good job. He does a very good job. <laughs> funky bass. Yeah, funky bass. <laughs> no, I'm still learning funky bass. I love that line. <laughs> I know it's so funny. <laughs> um, but no, I like that because they have the drummers. So everybody's a drummer. 
Uh, they have one drummer who's just like classically trained. He has like a jazz grip. There's another drummer who, who uses like electronic drums. He's more based that way. There's another drummer who's just kind of like animal almost. <laughs> you know, he's just really wild. <laughs> Um, and, uh, it's basically the, the, the two main musicians from the beginning of the movie just kind of get everybody together and they're like, Hey, we need people to do this thing. And then they do it. And then mostly the movie is mostly just that. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, there's four different big musical numbers. And they happen quicker than you think they, they will. do. It's not a long movie. Mm -mm. Um, I want to say it's like, yeah, I mean, it's an hour and 42. It's not terribly long. I mean, it, it's not terribly short either. Um, but it, it goes by pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. They they kind of keep it going. They do. Yeah. So the movie is subtitled, right? Cause it's, yes. Uh, it's a, it is a Swedish, French, German production. Correct. Yes. Um, but spoken is probably Swedish. Yes. It's uh yes no yes yeah, Swedish yes yeah so, um a lot of people, like not people we've heard from but people we've seen online and stuff like that talk about how. Um, Americans don't watch films that are subtitled a lot of the time because they have a tendency to shy away from them. Yeah, the majority, I would say, don't, wouldn't, you know, I know people in my family that are like, oh, well, why would I watch that? You yeah. know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, it, it, the thing with this is it's a lot of, is music driven. So, really, the dialogue, while it, it, it is, has importance, mm -hmm. it isn't. The, you're coming for these these four songs, these four movements, mm -hmm. um, movements. that 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 they're that they're doing in this film. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think that matters that much. Uh, you might even be able to have it dubbed. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, lang do, no language is just Swedish. Yeah, never mind. You can't have it dubbed. There you go, and that's correct. Yeah, that's good. I was gonna say I'm surprised that this doesn't have a remake. Um, well, let's hope it does. Yeah, but I mean, this is this is the only movie from these directors. Um, I don't hear a lot of people talking about this movie. Uh, it's not, it's not one that I see being talked about much, which is surprising to me because it's such, such an original idea and it's, it's really, it's really cool. And in, in my mind, you know, um, I hadn't watched it for at least a few, few years, over five years, um, when we watched it and I still liked it just as much as I liked it before. Mm -hmm. Um, it's very funny. It's a very funny movie. It is. Um, the songs are really good. They they they're very uh, like um, they get you moving. You know they 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 have a beat to them and 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 they're really fun to listen to. They're fun to watch them play. I feel like it's also fitting that the language that is spoken is Swedish because Swedish has yeah a musical cadence. Swedish is Swedish is very bouncy. Yeah, it has very musical cadence yeah. to it mm -hmm. um, that goes along with. The rest of the movie. So yes. I couldn't imagine the movie any other way, truthfully. No, and it's I also... I think it would work as well. Yeah, and it's funny because none of the songs have lyrics. They're all instrumentals. Yeah. So it, it's just... Yeah. I guess they're all drummers, so nobody's going to be singing, actually. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, I really recommend this movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, if you like, you know, it, something just original, something you haven't seen before, uh, check this out, I think. I think it's a really... It's not a super long watch. It's a really fun watch. I mean, uh, but yeah, the music in it alone is a reason to watch. Yes. Um, yes. To watch it, yeah. I would say, because I really enjoyed it. Yeah. I enjoyed it a little bit more than I thought I was going I'm to. glad. This is, a, this is a movie where um, sometimes I bring up movies to Danny, and uh, she'll shoot them down. Um, but I'm glad eventually she watched this, mm -hmm. uh, just because, you know, any anybody that has a significant other, when... You love a movie, you want them to watch it, and you hope that they like it as well. And that's kind of, that's a little bit of what this podcast basically is. Yeah, basically. Us either like, hey, I really want you to hate this, mm -hmm. or hey, I really want you to love this. Um, so I'm glad you didn't hate this. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess we can rate it. So okay. uh, what would you give it? Uh, i give it like an 8 out of 10. Shit. All right. So your only problems were basically the main character. Yeah. 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 But that's about it. Yeah. I mean, I give the same eight out of 10. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's a fun, fun movie. It is. There's nothing super offensive about it. No, I think there is a painted up naked man, <laughs> but you really don't, you see, don't anything. Really see anything. It does say it's rated R for some language and brief nudity. And that is the brief nudity. I believe you see his butt yeah. and a little bit of his penis. I don't, I couldn't even it's see it. It's in the it. dark. It's I really hard to see. I couldn't even see it, so I don't even So you know. wouldn't even count that, yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I would say this could be a movie you could watch with any age range, I would say, truthfully. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, if you want your little kid to become a little anarchist, <laughs> show him uh, Sound and Noise and then Cecil B. Demented. Oh, yeah. Don't show him that. <laughs> yeah, maybe not Cecil B. Demented. Yeah, don't show Cecil him that. Cecil B. Demented is a little bit more uh, yeah, it's more crazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, highly recommend this movie mm-hmm. from both of us, thankfully. Um, yeah, sound of noise. Um, so, we are doing streams every Saturday. Mm-hmm. We, I've said this, I'll say it again. <laughs> um, it's keep just, reminding you. Keep reminding. Uh, it's a watch along. Basically, it's kind of, we, we find a movie, we watch it with everyone, and we talk with everybody as we're watching the movie. It's really fun. Um, uh, this upcoming week, we are going to be doing Hack a Lantern. Yep. Uh, and that's going to be awesome. It's one of our favorites. Uh, we just did um, Troll 2, mm-hmm. which was awesome. Had a really good time with that. Uh, so please come if you can. Um, it's just on the YouTube channel here. If you're listening, youtube.com slash Will um, mm-hmm. We have our social media accounts. All the social media. All the social media. <laughs> it, it, it is in the description. Uh, you can find it by just punching in our names or punching in the name of the podcast. You will find it. Um, so, yeah. Thanks, you guys, for listening. Uh, fucking 20 episodes. 20 episodes. Episode 20. It's crazy. Yeah. How long has it been? Then? It's been five months. Yeah. Five, five months. months of once a week. Almost half a year. Almost half a year. This. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I'm still a great time. So <laughs> thank you for everybody that's listening yes, and are you. watching. Um, we will see you either Saturday at the live stream or we will see you next Monday with uh, Danny's pick. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for watching, listening, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.